All right, guys, so today we're talking about the clutch on a Bobcat rider, and some other riders might be the, the same type of system, but there's a uh, bracket that holds the clutch on to keep it from spinning around, and sometimes that bracket breaks, or maybe yours keeps, your clutch keeps slipping off, or your bracket is breaking. And I'm gonna show you how to change the, uh, the actual pin um, in this tutorial. If you look underneath of your machine, you're gonna see this clutch. On the front of it is this bracket, and it's held on by two nut and bolts like this that actually would hold it on each side, hold this bracket on. Now, when you engage the blades, this clutch spins, and you can see there's a bracket here that actually mounts on, and there's a pin coming from your mower that goes inside of here. And basically what that does is it grabs this and will prevent this clutch from spinning around. When these break, the clutch just spins around and it will rip off the wire, clutch wire, that goes in there. So, um, this has happened two or three times already, so I figured I would do a tutorial on it. Um, the pin wears down that goes in here, and these no longer stay on underneath. So let me show you what that looks like. Now, going underneath the back of your bobcat here, if you look, all right, this is where the clutch was. And if you look in front of it, there's the pin. See how that's all worn down? That's why that bracket keeps vibrating off of there. Um, from it bouncing around on there, over time, it wore the metal down, and now it no longer holds. So, how do we replace that pin? Well, you're going to have to order that pin. Um, luckily, I have a scrap mower here, so I'm going to take one off of there. A 18 millimeter deep socket to slide up over this, and then you're going to go up top. Now lift up the seat, and right down here in front of your core, straight down, turn some light on, you will see it's covered in oil. There's a 916 bolt right there. A nice long extension. Go straight down there. Get that to hold. All right. Then you go underneath with your impact, and you loosen it up from there. And this drive should catch on there and allow you to loosen that. But if you have somebody else helping you, it makes it a lot easier. They can stand up there and hold it. Uh, but let me show you what it looks like because I already loosened it. Once you unthread it there, that's what it looks like. See how it's all worn down? So that bracket was just vibrating on there and kept slipping off and breaking the bracket on a clutch. And that's why they were having a problem with the clutch spinning around and the clutch wire ripping out. These don't recess that far down the way these were designed. I think that was a poor design by Bobcat. They don't. They only sit down about maybe half an inch in there. Um, they should have it go down a little bit farther to make this a little bit more stabler, but when you're putting this on, you're gonna notice this only goes on just a little bit. And uh, you can see there's a lot of play in there. This thing is worn out. So that's how you replace this pin, and that's probably one of the problems you're having if your bracket is breaking or you're this keeps, your clutch keeps coming loose. I would check this, uh, this little stud here. Uh, should be easily found online, but I have a spare one and I'm gonna take it off another machine. So hopefully this helps somebody out, but please don't forget guys, it's really important. Just take a second, hit subscribe below. I do videos somewhat daily and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.